classical cryptography, monoalphabetic and polyalphabetic substitution, visionaire cipher, polyalphabetic substitution and visionaire square. On this slide, we want to discuss the concept of polyalphabetic substitution as used for the visionaire cipher. Looking at our plain text, key and cipher text, we notice the following. Our plain text contains T two times. But since a different letter of our key is used to encrypt them, we have two different letters in our cipher text, namely an X and a G. Hence, we substitute one plain text letter with two different cipher text letters, and therefore can speak of a polyalphabetic substitution. The Visionaire cipher becomes much easier to use with the so called Visionaire square. Starting with the original alphabet, all shifts of this alphabet are written down, meaning first no shift, then a shift by one space, then two, and so on. In total, we obtain a 26 times 26 table. On the left side, we have an alphabet for the letters of the key, on the top for the letters of the plain text. We want to shortly demonstrate how this square can be used for encryption. We first look at the column for our plain text letter D, then at the row for the key letter V. They meet at the letter Y, which is our first cipher text letter. Next, we see that the column of the plain text letter I meets the row of the key letter I at the letter Q. Analogously, G and G meet at M. In total, we would obtain the same cipher text as before. Note that the Visionaire cipher is a tabular rector, which simply describes a square table of alphabets, where each row is shifted one space to the left. If you want to learn more about the cryptography and other interesting topics, go to embeddedacademy.com.